This is a coastal low, so the weather alert is in place because this could be a big storm that's going to create a lot of trouble. The likelihood, like last weekend, it's going to occur when you're sleeping. Now, there could be a little rumble of thunder uh, between 3 to 7. That might wake you up, but most folks aren't going to see the vast majority of rain that's going to hit us. Current temperatures mild, 55 degrees, 50 to 55 degrees, above our average high of 44, and this is now 548. We should be much cooler than this. Our high tomorrow will be in the morning at 8. 8, 8 in the morning, 60 degrees, and then temperatures are going to drop. I'm getting ahead of myself. Story number two, tracking a coastal low. Big deal here. Light to moderate rain falling in some areas. This is nothing, though, because the storm itself, you have to expand the radar, give you a bigger perspective. Come down south. Look over Charleston. That's where the area of low pressure is. The reason I know it's there is because of this. The counterclockwise rotation of the low. How far is that low away from us? If you're asking, I'll tell you. It's 560 miles away. Therefore, this storm is probably moving at about 40 miles an hour. Essentially, 12 to 13 hours of rain is possible, and that's why there's a lot of rain that's going to hit us. The low interacts with the water in the ocean, the Atlantic. It has a source to just keep bringing buckets of rain. Through 5, 6, 7, we're at 5 now, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, there's rain, steady rain happening now because there's a front to the west bringing rain. The coastal low is bringing up moisture. The two combine and bring us rain through 11 o'clock. This isn't the heaviest rain at all, though, and the winds aren't, aren't that bad. Tonight at 10 o'clock, they're starting to pick up out of the southeast at 15 to 20. That won't take down power lines or trees, but tomorrow's a different story. The low that's 560 miles away got in the Greyhound bus. It's driving north in a hurry. Midnight, 1 a.m. 2 a.m., the Bronx, Brooklyn, South Island, Queens, Manhattan, Hoboken, Weehawken, Jersey City, South Brunswick, Bayonne, over to Long Island, through Westchester into Connecticut, everybody's wet. When you see reds on the rain future cast, that means strong updrafts and downdrafts, like over Bayonne, over Brooklyn. Local ponding could be some flash flooding. Uh, there's a slight chance of it. If you live in a basement apartment, if you live in the Bronx, you live in Queens, you live in a basement apartment anywhere in the tri-state, pay attention to your phone. The National Weather Service will alert you to get out of your apartment if there's possible local flooding or flash flooding in your area. Again, heavy rain continues through 5, 6. What does that mean? The morning commute's a mess. Public transportation is your friend. I would not drive my car into the city tomorrow, not with all this rain. It's going to cause a lot of delays. So that's Monday. The National Forecast, uh, National Weather Service forecast is going two to four inches. The models bear that out. They're on the money, I do believe. Heavier rain inland with the trajectory of the storm. It should be heavier north and west, but about two inches possible over the city, if not a little more. Winds, the gusting winds at 60, 70 miles an hour, that's almost like hurricane force gusts. That'll take down some power lines and some trees. Once the low ejects on the backside, colder air is coming in. Temperatures will drop with wind chills in the 20s on Tuesday morning. Could be some snowflakes flying by Tuesday morning after a high of 60 degrees tomorrow morning. By Wednesday, yes, nothing but cold air on top of us, a wind chill of 15 degrees. 60 and a lot of rain. I will do, I'll update you again, John, at 6. I'll be here at 10 p.m. as well. And you can go to Byron Pix 11 right now on Instagram. If you want to follow me, I'll update you there if we have any flooding rain.